Does the original Bible still exist? I heard the Bible and the Torah have been changed over time yet Christians and Jews say that they have the original scripts. Have they been changed? Why would God allow the books to be changed? Have these books been changed? If so how would you respond? The Torah is in the Bible. The Bible consists of two things. In English, the Bible for Christians has the Torah, which is the Old Testament, and the Injil which is the New Testament. First of all, let me ask you a question, what language are we talking about? Did Jesus speak English? One Christian said to me, one of those got the Holy Ghost in him, he said, of course, he spoke English, he could speak anything, he's God, he speaks every language and animal language, and everything. Okay? Thank you, have a nice day. Rational argument? Number 1, out the door. You can't talk to this guy, I'm serious, don't waste your time, let him go talk to the animals. Do they have the original book? If they do, they have hidden it very well because they are not telling anybody about it. All the years that I was a Christian we discussed those things many times, I have many books, by many authors, Jewish and Christian, and atheists. When I came to Islam I got more books by Muslims. There are no original documents anymore. But they used to get Wahi revelation, the same as it came to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, through Angel Gabriel. They used to recite it, and this is known for the Jews they used to do that. They used to write their scripture and bury it, then dig it up every so many years, and somebody would hold the book and they would recite to see how close they are still holding it together, I'm not joking that's what they used to do, but that was thousands of years ago. When the Christian religion started up, they had books, but they were all destroyed. Everything was destroyed at the Council of Nicaea. After that, nothing survived except certain books and some of those the church took out and put back in over the next thousand years. The book of Revelations is one of those books they took out and put back in, and took it out and took it back in. There are other books, when the Protestants broke off from the Catholic Church, that they threw out. Then there are more books that the Orthodox have. Protestants have 66 books, Catholic 73 books, and Orthodox 78 books. Tell me which one is right? And then when you look at the verses, they don't match. Every hotel on this planet has got the King's James Version, it's put there beside the bed in the drawer, placed by the Gideon Society. You can go to 2 Samuel, which is also 2 Kings, you can read in there real clear in chapter 13 to 20, so many things that they do and did, Absalom the son of David and how he is having sex with his own father's wife and things like that. We don't have things like that in our book, we never have anything like that in the Quran. But that is where you will find all the stuff in there, many things you'll find in there you would be surprised. Except nowhere in there you'll find that says worship Allah alone without partners. Can you imagine that when we read the Quran, could you read seven chapters of the Quran and not read something about Allah? It's not possible, because the word Allah is on almost every page there are only two pages out of 604 pages that I found that didn't have the word Allah on it. And the other pages have it made 10th 20 20 times, so many times. Allah and Rab and his names etc are all there, 